Hello, this is Apologist Lucas Admin. Just a second, we are going to be praying for sickness in your body to leave. My friends, the Bible talks all the time about sickness. The Bible talks all the time about how the Lord will provide a way and the sickness must leave your body. For Jesus came to restore hearts, minds, bodies, and souls, to heal the wounded and the brokenhearted. For it says in the book of John, that I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health. Jesus worked in miraculous ways. And just as the Lord does, the Lord is all powerful. And instead of outwardly moving, the Lord grants authority in his words so that believers of his may command the power and the authority of the Lord and heal. And bring out miracle signs and wonders. So we're going to pray this prayer. Healing for sickness. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to find a place, a quiet place that you can be alone with the Lord. The second thing that I want you to do is invite the Holy Spirit in. Just let the Spirit come over you and heal you from the inside out. Say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here third thing I want you to do is I want you to come into agreement. This is all that you need to do. Whether you want to watch the screen, whether you want to close your eyes or read the prayer with me, all you have to do is come into agreement. My friends, there is so much power in agreement for it says in the book of Matthew that where two or three are gathered in my name, there I shall be. So we are going to invoke the Lord's power, his authority over the sickness and we know that the Lord will hear it because he has promised in his book that where two or three are gathered, there he will be. Let's begin. We're going to start, like every time, by lifting up the name of the Lord. Let's begin. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, who was and is and is to come. Father God, we know that you are Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, and we know that you are the healer of healers. We know that you give sight to the blind, that you give hearing to the deaf, and that you have quite literally raised the dead and brought them back to life. So we know that there is nothing that transcends your power. Second, we know that your power and your authority has been gifted and blessed to people to incite the power and authority of the Lord on themselves and on each other. For we know this, Father God, that you can do outward expressions of miracles, for we have seen it done. But you entrust that power and authority to those to command your words. And it says in your word that all scripture is profitable for teaching. And all scripture is profitable for healing. For we know that Jesus Christ was a healer of healers. And we know, Father God, that your ways transcend any sort of medicine. That your ways transcend any sort of sickness. And that your ways transcend anything that is wrong in my dear brother and my dear sister. So we invoke your power and your authority of your words and we come together in agreement for we know that if we are gathered together in your name, there you will surely be. So we just pray for my dear brother and my sister. Although pain and suffering and sickness has come, we know that it has not come to stay, but it is just a passing phase. Father God, we know that in your word, it never says that we will be free from sickness, that we will be free from pain, and that we will be free from suffering. But we know that from your word, that it says to rejoice in these times because the Lord your God is with you, that the Lord your God will turn these t uh, troubled waters and these tidal waves into our good, that the Lord will use burdens and turn them to blessings and we pray for the blessings right now we pray for the sickness to turn into triumph and we pray for what seems to be a horrible negative event and to experience growth and we pray that this is an opportunity in my dear brother and my dear sister's life to see and perceive the love the faithfulness and the awestruck power and authority of your will we pray, Father God, that just as my brother and my sister is listening to this, they feel anointed. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. We know, Father God, that Jesus laid hands on the blind and they saw again. And we pray that Jesus will lay hands on my brother and my sister. And that the spirit within my brother and my sister will be healed. And next, 
will come their mind and next will come their body until there is nothing left for my brother and my sister to do but to dance and sing your praises. For it says, for whoever said the sun set free is free indeed. For we know that when Jesus and when your ways come together to heal, that there is not only a gradual healing, it is not a placebo effect or some sort of effect of medicine where day by day my brother and my sister may feel better, may not feel better. We know that when you intervene and when you touch and speak into my brother and my sister's life, that miracle signs and wonders will come and that my brother and sister will be so filled with your love, your joy, and your peace that they will have nothing left to do but dance for the joy within them is too much. For we know that greater are you and my brother and sister. Greater is he that is in me than he who is living in the world. And we know that your power and your authority and your mercy and your love transcends all sickness. And we know that you have not given us a spirit of fear so that we do not need to go out into the world and be fearful of sickness. For we know that all we have to do is come to you Cast our troubles down in front of you, and you will grant us peace. For it says in your word that the Lord is my shepherd. He lies me down in green pastures. So we pray this in Jesus' name, that all sickness and all disease that is within the body be gone in Jesus' name. And we pray this, for it says in your word that all that is needed is faith the size of a mustard seed to move mountains and we are moving mountains when we say and we call upon your power and authority that we are breaking every bond and every chain that the enemy has put in my brother and sister's life and in their body and in Jesus name we are speaking this into life we are speaking this into the realm of the living and the realm of the spirit that all chains of sickness be broken in Jesus name not on our power, but by the name of the Almighty Father, but by the power of God, all sickness be gone in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and by the authority of your love, your will, and your faithfulness to your people, in Jesus' name. And all my brothers and all my sisters say, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for saying this prayer with me. I know, and I know, and I know, and I know, and I know, that the Lord wants to heal you, that the Lord wants you to lose the sickness in your body and that any sickness that remains is just there because the enemy is attacking you. And you know what that means, my brother, my sister, the enemy is attacking you because there is something great on your life. There is an appointment and an anointing on your life because if there wasn't, the enemy would leave you alone because the enemy does not want you to invoke the name of God and the power of God. If you still need more healing, go back and listen to this over and over again. Listen to it every day. Listen to it as many times as you need to and the Lord will bless you. Every time that there is sickness in your body, come back and listen to this and the Lord will bless you for the Lord is great. He is wonderful and he is a faithful, faithful father. If you would like to send me a personal prayer request, the link is in the bottom. If not, thank you for being here. Thank you for praying with me. I know that the Lord has heard our prayers and I know that the Lord will answer our prayers. Until next time, my brothers and my sisters, be well.